Today's video is sponsored by the epic strategy game, Guns of Glory. In today's video, we're going to see what we can sandblast with sand, salt, and sugar. A while ago, we had a video where we showed you how to make your own sandblaster that hooked up to a compressor. It involved a needle-nosed air blower and a piece of plastic bottle that we had sort of skewered and some file work, and it actually worked pretty well. We did a good job blasting away on wood and metal and even glass. Well, today we've upgraded a little bit. We've got not the highest end of sandblasting equipment, but at least professionally made sandblasting equipment. And we wanted to try a few things out. We want to see how well this works with sand and then see what happens if we were to substitute the sand for sugar or salt if we wanted to say sandblast some food. Here's the basic idea. We want to test out what we can sandblast using an actual blasting cabinet and sand medium. Then we want to see how well it works if we substitute the sand for salt or sugar. Will it still blast things away and is it something that we can use on food? We're coming inside for a minute to warm up because it's really cold outside and because we want to tell you about this legendary mobile game, Guns of Glory. Guns of Glory is an epic strategy mobile game set in Europe, but in an alternate history timeline. The game is set in an era when the throne has fallen and you, the heroic player, must act as the loyal musketeers. You must protect the king and stop the cardinal's schemes. This game has alchemy, vampires, witches, dark forces, and is set in an incredible steampunk-like style. That's pretty cool. Check out all these awesome things that you can do in the game. You can develop your own city. You can make alliances with other players. Fight the dark forces with your friends. You can try the battle simulation in mini games. You can train your battle troops and get caught up in the storylines. Don't miss these epic features, like unveiling the Iron Masked Man. Go challenge yourself in the Ramparts minigame, get the new equipment set, and they've got a super fun Easter event. Guys, go download Guns of Glory now using the link in our description. If you use our creator code, you get a special in-game starter pack, but there's a limited amount of those, so go get yours now. So let's do a few tests with sand. I have another one of these guns already in here attached to a hose. Okay. And this is a blasting cabinet. You can see it has gloves inside it so you can hold whatever you're working on and control the sandblasting gun at the same time without having to worry about wearing all the protective equipment that you would need if you're just doing it out in the air. Here is the sandblasting gun. Looks a lot like the other one we just had. And this hose leads down to right here. And this just sits here in oh, the sand. So you fill the bottom with it yep. and it just recycles the sand. That's actually brilliant. Yep. Now, Ew. you can see this is what happens when you use it. I have used this cabinet with this sand before and some of the sand gets basically ground into dust. So this is like sand powder all over my hands. I've got this piece of very rusty metal. I'm gonna throw it in here and see if I can make it a less rusty piece of metal. So yeah, gives a very nice clean effect. It's soft. Yeah, it's got like a micro texture, so it feels like silky smooth kind of thing. And it did a really good job. Like that yeah. cleaned the rust off beautifully. I'm a little scared about what it's gonna do to the food now. This arm has an elbow, but it's a little longer than the other one. It's okay. Nice little, and yeah, it's, it's drying out. Yeah. And it becomes more visible, there you go. That's so cool. So it does it leave like glass shards behind, like in there, or the pieces uh, like so Powderized, tiny? yeah. About the size of grains of sand. Here's my wow. funny little face. I like your little smiley face. And as a demonstration, I also did this, where I held it in one spot and blasted a hole right through the glass. So it didn't take very long no. either. Like it ate through all the way through. And so there's just a little hole in the jar now. So now what we can do is we can try using the sugar and the salt in the same gun. Now, ideally we would have a new clean blasting cabinet to put those in, but we don't have three blasting cabinets. I was wondering what our strategy was here for putting the other guys our in. Our strategy is to not put them in oh. and to wear eye and face protection and just do them out. Because while it'll bounce, 
it's not as hard and sharp as sand, so it'll probably get in my hair or hat a lot. If you just stand back a little bit, you should be okay. Now I'm gonna try cleaning that metal bar with sugar. Oh yeah. <laughs> so with the sand, it it's really like removed it. It tried a little bit. Maybe, I mean, it does look a little bit different. So maybe it got like some of the loosest bits of rust. There's a, there's like a color change. It's got yeah. like brighter rust and darker rust. I wanna see if it does anything to glass and then I want to see what it does to candy. <laughs> Looks untouched <laughs> to my eyes. I agree. Even on the reflection, like, there's... There's like nothing. There's, there's no spots. Glass is just so much harder. Look at the powdered sugar. That's, it's very finely powdered. That is a sugar. It's dust. very slick. I will say, like, this feels like a fresh snow on the ground. Like, it's very slick. <laughs> So if anyone doesn't recognize it, this used to be my foot cast in candy. What happened it, to it? It melted over the past, I don't know, year or so that's just been sitting above the microwave. We're gonna see if sugar can blast sugar. This shouldn't be as hard as glass, so maybe we'll be able to mark it. <laughs> ah ha ha, look at that. Oh, it looks like an ant farm. <laughs> so this is about what I was hoping to see. So glass is made of the same stuff as sand, and we've got sugar against sugar. So I was hoping we'd get pretty much the same result, and it looks very, very similar. It does. So if you wanted to, say, customize a lollipop or something, I suppose this would work. And then you blasted this one too. And They're it didn't, soft. Yeah, it didn't carve a ton into it, but you can see the path that it took and the little divot that I managed to put into it. I baked cookies! Grace has provided us with cookies, which are <laughs> excellent, but they could use a little more sugar just on the top. I completely agree. We're gonna see if we can apply some sugar in a, an intense and industrialized way. So I didn't actually blast all of them. I did about half. So okay. these ones uh -huh. got blasted. Some of them more heavily, like this one I really did a lot on. And then these ones, it's just residual sugar. So I am curious, like, will it all fall off or is it like embedded in the cookie? I think it's actually embedded in the cookie. You like, really like went at this one. Yeah, you, you can, can see, see the, the layers of the it, cookie. like smushed it to the side a little bit. Mmm. Are they good? Sugary. They're good cookies. Do you think the sand blaster is necessary or could we just pour some sugar on them? Oh no, the sand blaster is necessary. Okay. Because it gives it like that really, really fine powder. You can see like there's just sugar like dust filling all the nooks and crannies. Like they both have nooks and crannies. These ones are like smoothed out and like a lighter coloring to them because of the sugar powder that's down inside the crevices. Now this jar is full of salt. Are you sure? Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Took you quite a while to get there. I was being very careful to not get a lot because <laughs> I was already a lot. All right, let's see how salt does against our bar of metal. So my first observation is that it's not powderizing it's the way sugar is. It just kind of bounces off. Now, not a lot of difference. Sand, sugar, salt. I think it took off a little bit more rust. It, I agree with that statement. It like got down to kind of, like even when you look at the, like at it on an angle, you can see. There's like more, more metal visible, yeah. a little less rust. Let's see if it's hard enough to do anything at all to glass. Cause sugar, we had nothing, no visible result, nope. just powdered sugar all over it. <laughs> There's like it that looks... slight haze, but I think that's a more of a moisture thing. But and wiping it with water seems to have just removed all traces of the marks. Yeah. So my thought is that this might be an unconventional but functional way of cleaning glass. Like if you yeah. had like some old glass and you wanted to carefully clean it, this might work pretty well. Cause no, it's not I gonna hurt the that. glass, but it might blast off any grime that's on it. Let's do a try with the candy foot okay. and see if the salt impacts the candy foot more than the sugar did. Pretty similar, 
Um, more aggressive though. I think it is. I think salt is, I believe, a more aggressive shape and I think it doesn't split apart as easily. Yep. So it might not actually be much harder or softer, but it's I think it- valuability is higher. Yeah, it doesn't cleave. Which is why there's no like powdered salt, I feel like. Yeah, well, I mean, there is powdered salt. It just isn't as useful. And it seems like the pitting on this candy is like larger. Yeah. Like this is all very smooth and uniform and this is like rougher, I feel like. I agree. I noticed that also. So it's probably the shape with the tiny little cubes instead of whatever shapes the sugar is turning into yeah. and breaking down into smaller shapes. So neither the sugar nor the salt affected glass. Nope. They both did a little bit of rust removal. They tried their hardest. They both got into candy and foam and the sugar was great on the cookies and we did not try the salt because why on earth would you? Guys, is there anything else you want to see us do with the sand blaster? We love this little tool. It's one of my new favorite tools because it's not super dangerous. You just need to cover your eyes. <laughs> it's a little messy though. If you're not doing it in the cabinet, yeah, it's a little on the messy side. This is fun. Thanks again to Guns of Glory for sponsoring today's video. Go download the game now using the link in the description. Guys, that's it for today, but we've got tons of cool videos for you to see. Click that box right there to check out one of our favorites, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.